So in this worked example, we're going to look at the number 1049 and see if we can tell whether it's prime or not. So remember, a number's prime if its only factors are 1 and itself. So when we're looking at 1049, we're basically asking, does it have any other factors? So the first thing we can do is use our divisibility tests and we can check for 2. Obviously it's not divisible by 2 because it doesn't end in an even number. Um, we can check 3. We can see that 1 plus 4 plus 9 gives us 14 which isn't divisible by 3 so 3 is not a factor. And now I don't need to check 4 because it's not divisible by 2 so obviously it can't be divisible by any even number. So I just need to check the next prime, which in this case is 5, and clearly it's not divisible by 5 because it doesn't end in 5 or 0. <clears throat> then for 7, so again I'm just going to be checking through the primes. For 7, um, I can just do a quick, uh, quick divide in to 1049, and I get 1, k to the 3, um, and then this goes 4 times k to the 6. And I can see at this point that it's not divisible by 7. Now, at this point, I'll probably start reaching for my calculator. And I still want to only check prime numbers. And I just want to see whether dividing 1049 by those numbers results in a whole number again. So, <clears throat> if I check, firstly, um, I check, say, 11 next. And when I divide 1049 by 11, I get 95.36 something, something, something. And so this is not a whole number, so it's not divisible by 11. I proceed through and I check 13, and 13 gives me 80.69 something, something, something. And so 13 isn't a factor either. <clears throat> and I keep on going through. Um, and I check 17, I check uh, 19, I check 23, I check um, 29. And then when I check 31, so let's skip ahead to, to 31, and I divide 1004 by 31, I get 33.83 um, something, something, something. <coughs> And then now, I check 37, which is my next prime number, and I get 28 point something. So, you see now, um, you know, here we had larger numbers, so when I, if I check division by 2, I'd get roughly 500 and something. And so at this point here, I can see that my number that I get as a result is smaller than the number I divided by. And so if anything above 37 is going to be um, a factor of 1049, it needs to satisfy, you know, so say we check 41 next, 41, it needs to satisfy 41 times something equals 1049. And so for numbers greater than 41, this, this pair that goes in here has to be a number that's less than 41 in order to get to 1049. And I've already, by checking all the primes, I've eliminated anything under 41 being a factor. So in this case, once I get to this point here, I can say that 1049 is definitely prime. So in general, <coughs> um, I think there's sort of Three steps to checking if a number's prime. First, use the quick divisibility tests, um, divisibility checks for 2, 3, and 5. <clears throat> and then at this stage, we can start using, um, we can use a calculator and we want to check only primes. And we only go up to, only um, go up to, approximately um, the square root. So in this case we only go up to about 35 
because 35 squared will give us something around about this figure. And so using this method, I mean, we saw even then, we only have to check about 10 numbers um, to see whether a number like this is prime. So anything under 1,000 you should be able to do in, I'd say, less than 30 seconds or so. Okay?